guys doing? And welcome back to The Summon Files with me, your girl, No Fuses. Last time, we lost a set, aka Tessa. She didn't deserve that. Even though I call her Two Face after we first met her, she didn't deserve that. She didn't deserve that sneak attack that she got. I just want to know why she was there. Why was she way out there? Who was at the door in the middle of her stream? Did that person kidnap her? Was that someone that knew what was going on and took her there and then stabbed her? Hopefully we find out all the answers in this video because I really want to know because that's so sad. That poor girl. But also I really hope we can get something more out of the freaking politician because he's being very type led even though he saw something and is like saying like, hmm, it has something to do with me. It's like, yo, you probably witnessed a murder and you're refusing to say anything. Either you know who it is, or you're a part of it somehow. Like, you, you're guilty in some way. That's why you're shutting up. But hopefully we get the answer out of him. You know, just a good smack across the face or two will probably do the trick. But uh, if you guys uh, want to see more videos of this game, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Let's dive on in. Can we talk to him? Oh, yep. Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. Two days ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. Dude, we just saw you witness a murder. I mean, you need to start loosening up your lips. Like, what do you gotta lose out of this? I've been telling you I don't know anything. That's bullshit, and you know That's it. impossible. We literally just saw you witness her death. I saw Iris in your dream. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. What? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. I uh, don't remember exactly what I said. It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. Don't give him ammo! Boss. It is impossible to determine now. Exactly, like, god damn it, boss. Why are you over here slipping? He very well may not have seen Iris's body. Then did, are we witnessing another dream vision? Like something that has yet to come to pass? No, that can't be because Tessa's still dead. She, we still found her in a cold warehouse, frozen. With stab wounds in the back. Okay, so it's already happened, so scratch that theory. No, he still must have. He was in the warehouse. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? He knows something. And he better start talking. What were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? reading a book at home. I wouldn't be able to answer that question. I, I wouldn't even know. I'd be like, I don't know, chilling somewhere? <laughs> you can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. 
That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. But they're like family to him. Yeah, that they'll protect him. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. He looks tired. The medicine hasn't fully worn off yet. It makes him a bit dazed. The subject of the sink remembers certain persons or objects that appear in Samyam. But they might not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes vague or unclear after all. Even the subject of the dream themselves. So he must remember Iris because she was clear as day. But he doesn't remember who the person was. It was probably like so dark at night that, that the sinker experiences the dream from the perspective of an observer. That is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. But perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves. Like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. Rare for a politician, but not unheard of. He lacks that objective picture of himself. He remains stoic and unattached despite his position of power. I find that quite powerful. To be able to put your ego aside and see yourself as God sees you, is an ability many charismatic people share. Alright, what do you guys say, boss? No, nothing yet. They arrived a while ago, but... that warehouse is owned by Okira Fishery. I know. Iva, can you check to see if it's the Okiura we know? Searching. I saw it on the monitor. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Of course, since you and Iba are one in the same, it's like you saved her, Date. But that was just a dream. It's not real. Yes, we know. Saving her insomnium won't save her now. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? You know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Damn. Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. Exactly. Like, there's plenty of holes in this. Like, I, I keep saying it, I'm gonna keep saying it until they until they realize it like i think he saw it but i don't think he knows who it was which is why the person is like freaking purple guy i don't know why why he's doing out of five nights at freddy's and uh, he needs to go back you said it was i said that it's probably him um excuse me i'm right here I can hear everything you're saying. I know, don't you? People talking shit about you. Yeah, he definitely did it. Yeah, and that's probably him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's um, let's put down the evidence. Yeah, that's probably him. Look to the warrant for his arrest. Oh, yeah, he's like, I'm right here. Anything else? Oh, boss is standing there. We've spoken to you, unless you got something else you gotta say. Nope. Nope. All right, I guess we gotta keep talking to you. During a sink, the sinker's consciousness, or ego, is brought into the subject's somnium. They enter the subconscious mind, or more accurately, sink into it. At this time, the sinker's memories are left in their original body. Picture an egg. The ego is the egg yolk that goes into the subject's brain. The sinker's memories are the whites which remain in the shell. The sinker, or rather the sinker as their pure ego, experiences the subject's somnia. 
But to be precise, it is not only ego. When synced, a modicum of memory data does get sent into the subject's brain. Imagine separating an egg yolk from its whites. No matter how you try, some of the egg whites will always stick to the yolk. This is just like that. Imagine the human brain as being made up of two elements. Memory and algorithmic structure. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. Memory is like your data stored on a hard disk. The algorithm is the program. This program controls everything, from higher cognitive functions to primitive instinct. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. He may not have a rational, objective assessment of himself. So, even if this figure is ambiguous... Could be so. Indeed. In short, it is your ego algorithm, what you call your mind. Recognition, cognition, consciousness. All of these processes are incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we think about consciousness. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. Using Wadjet, we could map the neural circuitry of the human brain. And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the phenomenon of consciousness. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. It's far too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. His eyes just look like crazy eyes to me. Every time I just look at him, he looks like... Those eyes just make him look like an evil genius. You don't have to understand electromagnetism to use a microwave oven. True. The Wadjet system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. Oh, who's calling me? Date, the investigation team is calling. Is it about 86 again? Or 89, this is Date whatever from his Abyss. name is. What happened? Number. Hey, sorry to call you out of the blue. There's something we want to check. Is now a good time? Sure, what is it? You said you found a body at Okura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The one at Ariake? Warehouse district? You better not tell me that her body is gone. Yes, that's right. Huh. Okay. Why? What happened? It's uh, not here. Oh my god, that Oh my god, this dude must have taken the body right after we left. Uh, why would we even leave? Don't you like call the police? No, he immediately dashed off to like to So's place, didn't he? God dang it, Dante. What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. Dun dun dun. Oh, that music scared the crap out of me. <laughs> even <laughs> even I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> What do you mean there's no body? Yeah, we looked everywhere. But... nothing. Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure...? 
You were there with me. You're my second eye. We both saw the body right there on the table. How can you doubt me? Like, don't make me like reach in my eye on Austin and throw you across the room. Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps someone moved the body. Between the time we left and CSI arrived. No, there's another possibility. There is? So she's like, she's like, fill me in because I'm at a loss. What's another possibility besides someone coming in and moving the body? in without ringing the doorbell oh you see Mizuki ended up staying at my place um something wrong yes the world changed the world changed what do you mean the world changed Explain. So, did, is he saying the world did like a full rewind and then it like changed routes to her going towards her death to not going towards her death? Explain, Date. Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. No. She wasn't killed. True, but that was only a dream. Maybe the dream changed reality. Impossible. Then how else would you explain it? Iris came back to life. I think they're thinking, uh, they're thinking like, oh, you must have just, you know, imagined it or something. And he's just like, no, I know what I saw. Congressman Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. So by using the machine, he's starting to change reality. But he's been using it for how long now? Why is it doing it now? If that's what's happening. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so called Shoko Nadami's phone. We still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. Exhibit B. So Sejima was at Okura Fishery Warehouse last night. But he didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. Did you find like some mysterious, <laughs> mysterious, mysterious items like in the warehouse of some kind besides Iris's body? So was an Iris's somnium. Dreams are constructed from memories. Yet the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnium, and that changed the history of the real world? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not impossible. That isn't what you said yesterday. That was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know. Yep, yes it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, Iba. <laughs> Anyway, I believe in Date. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. I'm glad she's trusting our judgment with this. I like, sent him home yesterday. You released him? Like, I'm, 
unless we get like solid proof proof there's nothing you can do especially with a politician you don't have concrete evidence to like keep them there oh they'll they'll use every means in their arsenal to get out what was i supposed to do we can't hold him without solid proof what exactly. we saw with iris hasn't happened yet in any case we have to speak with him again He's not, he's not gonna want anything to do with us after that. Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki's Somnium. Yeah, that can't be a coincidence. It must have been a prophecy. Boss. There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. <laughs> She's like a pure, but like, come on, not you too. And they're all looking at uh, Iba like, look, there's some things in this world that just can't be explained, okay? Even with science. Which is very true. Boss's natural change is one of her good qualities. Not having beliefs in what she believes in. That's how she serves herself as a major player in the police department. Because she believed in what she wanted to. I'm like a certain computer. Oh, boss is dead. There are secrets all over the front. It is absurd. Not possible. Dreams are figments of the imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. Consider it. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? Maybe if I truly believe in myself and the stars align, there could be. If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? If they did, I didn't know about but at it. at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. See, I was over here thinking, like, you must have been hallucinating. You saw the body Within too! The Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. It is affecting your mental state. Last night, you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. The same Okiuras we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. God dang, so Renju owns the entertainment company, and freaking Renju's father owns the fishery warehouses. Like, this can't be a coincidence. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. How so? The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Is it still under his family's name or something? Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. Hmm, never mind then. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father and it was instead given to other persons. Now my next question would be to you, Iva. When exactly did Renju's father die? But it can't be a coincidence. Exactly. It certainly is suspicious. I would suggest talk? searching right. the warehouse again. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. Really? You're saying that she was resurrected, but you said I was hallucinating her dead body in the first place. Which one is it, Iba? Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. 
There are three. Why would you send your daughter there? Your twelve-year-old daughter. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Another part of me thinks that somebody probably took Renju's phone and messaged her to go there. Because I'm really thinking to myself, like, Renju's a shitty dad. I I've seen shittier dads, but he's still a shitty dad. He doesn't take care of his kid, at least physically. He's, like, too busy with work and all that good shit. But if you've gotten so much trouble to the fact that it was life or death, why in the hell... Would you call your 12-year-old daughter to a potential murder scene in progress? Like, something is not right. I think I think somebody got a hold of Renju's phone or probably like, or probably like messaged the daughter, making it look like it was Renju, uh, texted her to come there for whatever reason. Two. Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. 3. The culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. Yeah, I think it was number 3. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Whenever we find him, because he is in ninja mode, because he has not appeared in this game not a once. We have no clue where this man Renju, is. where did you go? You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? It is possible she may have something for you by now. I asked Mom for more information too, but I had to promise him a meeting with Iris. Moma can wait for now. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. She was Renju's classmate, right? Iba told me about her. There are four people I should talk to. Sosajima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of investigation. Let's get moving. Alright, finally. So where should we go first? I think I really want to check on Iris and get some answers about what happened. I am so aggro right now. Who says that? Why are you angry? You backed out on your Shovel Forge promise! We thought you were dead. Sorry. I didn't make any promises. You promised me a date, though. I did go to your house. Two minutes before midnight? And you didn't even take me anywhere! Yeah, because we only had two minutes. We could have got somewhere. Itura, In two minutes? Unashir, Shikotan, Habomai? Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Well, uh... Jesus. <laughs> really? So one of the options, what's your type? Well... I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. I cannot even picture that. I know. I was like, what? I get contact information. <laughs> um, why? Well, because it may lead to something in the future. My god, stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Date, we're on an investigation. <laughs> this man kills me, I swear. Just let me have this. He said, let me have this, please! I'm desperate! Oh, there's more for that one? I'll 
come oh, right out your eye socket if you don't stop. You better not. I want to, too. We've been looking for him. We've been getting so many calls, it's hard to keep up with. Um, I'm 5'4". Man, she's as tall as me. She looks that taller, though. not what you meant. <laughs> exactly. I'm serious. <laughs> so I'm serious. I'm going to pop out. What if I keep clicking? I will flew out of my left eye and start dancing on the desk. No! So she's immediately fainted. I resolved the whole thing and also fainted. And so my story <laughs> ended. The end. <laughs> but I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to ask her for her information. Oh my god. This is sitting behind the desk. Oh my god. I wish that was a, like a whole scene. Like she just he she just jumped out of his eye socket. And just started dancing, and everyone fainted. What about him? I don't need to hide it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. A traffic accident? I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. Oh, I was gonna say, like, anymore? <laughs> it is Monday. But it's a holiday. No school today? Duh. Oh, right. It's a holiday. Did you forget to? That's yeah, why I'm did. at Lemnus Gate today. We're going to do a recording session for a show soon. I know you were mad about our date, but why was your phone off? Yeah, what are you hiding? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... Come on, spill it. Who Last came to visit you? Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? And you left the house as well. Where did you go? You really want to know? Yes. And you'd do anything for the answer. Yes. All right then, Shovel Forge. No. Why, why are you always trying to blackmail me? Why is everything a price tag for answers with you? God damn. Shit. Then go on a date with me. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Objection. Stop bringing in Ace Attorney. Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? He's Until like, you true. fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. <sighs> I've seen him on TV. Ever met him? No. Not at all. No, not at all. I hope this isn't the first set of words that you're planning on saying to her because saying it to a teenage girl, she might just be like, might scream pervert at you. Iris, promise you won't laugh, but I saw something at the cold storage warehouse last night. What? Dead body. <laughs> I told you not to laugh. But come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. Look, I can jump around. Woohoo! Stop, I'm serious. In my dream, I saved you from being killed. And here you are. Which is why I was 
like that when I went to... Sorry, there's no point in telling you all this. No, it's fine. Sorry for laughing. I'm glad you're sorry, because... Man, we were over here just being sad and everything, you're just laughing at us. Like, makes me want to throw my controller at your face. I just didn't know what was up with you. Huh? I believe you, Date. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Another bizarre explanation. So, what are we doing? What do Why you we? For our date, of course. <laughs> go on a date? Don't go on a date. Hmm. Hmm. A part of me really wants to know where you were at because you're using the date to not tell us. But part of me just doesn't want to give you satisfaction of a date. Uh, I guess we'll go. Fine. Hey, wait a minute! Yay! So you'll play Shovel Forge with me? I will not. So we'll go on a date then? <sighs> yes. Deal! And you have to honor our agreement this time. I can't believe it. Oh, but we can't go right away. I have a recording coming up. I should be done by three, though. Tessa, we're starting soon. Got it! So, Date, meet me back here at three? If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. Anyway, bye for now. Peace! Iris smiled and strolled over to the studio. There is no point remaining here. Let's get moving. Alright, where to now? Politician, Marvel, Sangam, Residence. Uh, let's head over. That's the house. Let's head over to the warehouse. With Aiba in my left uh, eye socket, I walked into the cold storage warehouse. I could see my breath. I looked around, shivering. Nothing seemed strange from last night, though. A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. You first arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. At that time, lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body. Covered with a white cloth. But the second time... The corpse was gone. Does she have a twin sister that she doesn't it know was about? It 11.25 p.m., but the body could not have simply vanished. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. When did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m. After we finished sinking with So. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Why did it take Correct. so long? Why did it take them so long? Because she has no okay. answer. The report does not specify. Perhaps a result of outside influence. Outside influence? Someone probably stopped them, or maybe reality was fixing itself? It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. Wait, uh, isn't that a, oh, it's a switchboard, my bad. A forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. Examining it will not reveal any further information. <laughs> I just want to keep clicking on it. Just gonna get all my options out there. The tires on the forklift and on the ground are all clearly frozen. God dang. Hi, 
I'm Jermaimon. Iba, the jokes, you've got to stop. No drum, it doesn't have magical pockets though. There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. The storage space isn't in use. We searched the warehouse again, but we didn't find anything nothing. useful. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. Let's get going. Like, she's trying to put into his mind, like, you're just seeing things. You never saw the body in the first place. Because, you know, she's a computer. She's like, I think logically all the time. I don't believe in freaking sci-fi or supernatural stuff going on. And, it's, and he just kind of ignored her and like, look, I saw what I saw. Dante, like, your temperature is I ain't is changing dropping. my story. At this rate, they might find your body in here. All right, I guess we'll leave. Yeah, let's go to Marble. Let's go, let's go see, uh, Mama. You need more info on Ren? I'm sorry to waste your time, but I don't have anything for you. I see. Still gonna so try cold, that. Mama. Hey, oh my god. Over here. I find it calming. Why is that? Don't ask me. You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? Yeah, I know. I heard it from his own mouth right here. Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemniscate? Talent Maybe scandal? Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemniscate. But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to high school. Flashback? Hey, yep, flashback. Dante, have you ever seen a dead body? I'm glad I get to finally see your face, besides from a picture from the game. I remember Renju saying that to me after he and I went through a, a bottle. Policeman. I don't know what department, but I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. So, how about it? I didn't answer. I turned the question around what about on him. You? Me? Well, yeah. Not just one. Countless bodies. Yeah, that your friend might have been giving you a big hint that he was in some bad shit. And he was just like, help me. <laughs> when I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. You know the Kumakura gang? I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. It was an easy job. Eventually, I became friends with the higher-ups. They started taking me with them on jobs. What jobs? The target was always an elderly person from the country with no family. Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? They live every day in loneliness and desperation. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. Guys would get to know the old people, and they would set up an adoption process. After that, you just have to get them really drunk, throw them in the tub full of hot water, and they pass. Just like that. Oh my god, that's horrible. They attack, brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. The police almost never investigated. They always looked natural. Like they died of old age. So the adopted gang members would inherit the land. Then we sell it and make massive profits. I watched a lot of people get killed like that. And I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. So I... I... <laughs> Why 
am I telling you all this? Because you feel guilty. <sighs> Are you going to arrest me? Your friend is literally crying out for help right now. He's literally like, help me, bro. Please, get me out of this somehow. I don't want to do this shit no more. It's literally what he's saying without really saying it. I took a sip from my glass. I didn't say anything didn't for a while. You didn't do it yourself, right? No, I was always the lookout. But still, Date, I... Tears fell from the counter, unending. We didn't say another word until the ice in the glass had melted to nothing. Yikes. That's a big yikes. I don't have anything else for you. Sorry, I'm not much help. No, don't worry about it. Can you come back again tonight? There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. Really? They should be here tonight. If you ask him, he might have some information for you. Hopefully yeah. he does. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We're gonna have to make a decision here. Yes, I'll be waiting for you. So we're gonna have to make a decision, go on a date with Iris. Or literally, oh my God. Or go on a prize but rend you. That's uh, that's gonna be something. I apologize for yesterday. I arrived uninvited. No, I'm grateful. Thanks to you, Mizuki has her voice back. No, I didn't do anything. Steam is rising from the tea. Hatomi is sitting on the sofa. Oh, I didn't mean to actually click the sofa. I've put Iris through so much. I was 19 and single when she was born. People didn't take kindly to that. But Iris was such a fighter. She always protected me. I remember, one time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Iris ran up to them and said, Don't talk about my mommy! <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother, but it's Iris who's always protecting me. Did something happen to him? You asked me that yesterday. There's no point hiding it. I told her about Renji's right disappearance. Right from the hospital? I'm sorry. I have no idea. They died when I was 17. I was Dang. an orphan. And my relatives lived far away. It might have taken me in, but I was already in my second to last year of high school. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. So I decided to stay here, by myself. And take care of Iris. Yes. All alone. But Renju would help sometimes. Yes, today's a holiday. Iris isn't in school. She went to Lemnisgate. Yeah, I saw her earlier. Is that so? It was always just me and her. Vacations, barbecues, zoos, amusement parks. Just me and her. Oh, that reminds me. When Iris was five, there was a children's theater show in Bloom Park. It was called Milky Moon. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. She loved singing and dancing, even as a kid. Whenever she heard music, her body would start moving. It was a quirk of hers. And she did it at the show, too. Toward the end, when all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the ending song, 
Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with them. I tried to stop her, of course. I grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit, but before I knew it, she was up there, dancing. And everyone was so excited. Even I was dancing by the end of it. When it was over, she had the biggest smile on her face. Mama, you're a good dancer. That's the kind of girl she was. Whenever she sees someone playing music on the street, she'll run up and join them, right then and there. I really feel like the game is really pushing me to go on this date with Iris. The fact that they're giving me this whole sad montage of her past... Yikes. Uh, it's just kind of like... Do you want to leave this girl alone twice? Especially after what happened the first time, but if you don't go to the bar that night You'll probably never know where Renju is So it's like uh. Music at the train station the crosswalk beeping Even at convenience stores when their little chime played she would start dancing It almost got her into trouble once She was on the jungle gym and a truck drove by it was playing loud music out the windows. She climbed up to the top and started dancing. Uh -oh. She lost her balance and fell. She fractured her leg pretty badly. It was on a Sunday, and it was hard to find an open emergency care. I was carrying her on my back, running and running through town. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to dance, Mommy? Can I still dance? She cried and cried into my shoulder. It was the only time she ever cried so much. Uh, no, um, that's not true. There was one other time. Yeah, okay, this one looks serious. Ago, I was the victim uh, those shooting. famous three words six years ago. I was a victim of... Oh, so you did see the past. So that image was the past. Not the future. So you're not gonna die anytime soon, hopefully. After the surgery, Iris came in running. And she was sobbing. protect her, no matter what. Iris is everything to me. More important than my own life. Iris must really enjoy dancing. Yeah. Was, was that the only thing you got out of that? Though her drawing skills could use some work. Drawing skills? The Look at the, the drawing wall? on the wall. I've been wondering about that picture. Iris drew it when she was 12. That's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Is the one on the freaking right the freaking shooter man? Who is that? Yes. And who's on the right? The man I was dating at the time. And the one that probably shot you, right? It was only for three months, but... I met him about six years ago. Hmm, keep getting those famous three words. Six years ago. Hmm. Have you been to the Kume Shrine in the Minato district? I was praying there one day and I heard a voice. Well, more like a groan. Behind the shrine, I saw a man sitting on the ground. He was bleeding badly from his stomach. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but he grabbed my wrist. And he held me, and then he kissed me. And that's all it took, right? That's literally all it took. 
Oh no, I'm bleeding out my stomach. Come here, girl. Like, that saying, you just started dating the man? That, that's hot? Okay. I was shocked, but... When I stared into his eyes... Then I heard footsteps. And then a bunch of men yelling. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded, he let me go. Don't call an ambulance. And don't call the cops. I knew he had to be a criminal. So I took him to an underground clinic I knew. You took him to a mob doctor? Renju's friend. I only met him once. That's probably the person that's going to be at the bar. Oh, there's more? Even though we had our first kiss seconds after meeting each other, it took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched a horror movie together. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who grabbed him. A zombie jumped out and scared us, and he clung onto my arm. He had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. Our second kiss was in the car. It's cliche, I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car. I don't think we ever said I love you. But we both knew. Right by the warehouse? We were getting closer and closer. But what draw it all to a close besides him shooting you in the face? Well, I guess technically the shoulder, since you lived and you have a plate there. I just like saying the face. The drawing on the wall looks interesting. Okay. Oh my god. Really, this one? Literally, this was paled out. There wasn't any more. I introduced him to Iris about a month after I first met him. Iris never had a father figure in her life before. She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. From then on, it was always the three of us together. We would go to the beach, to the river, the zoo, the amusement park. Going to barbecues with another person was a new experience for me and Iris. Everything felt so fresh. Every day was so... Ex oh, but what sorry. happened? You asked about the picture. Yes, but I also want to know why everything with the shit with your relationship like how did it escalate to that point he wanted to make okonomiyaki one day he was working with the hot plate it was ridiculous he was trying to flip one and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head iris saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed i hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time Oh, so that's what they were. I thought they were halos, like on the top of their heads. I didn't know what that I was. I was having so much fun that I put an economiyaki on their heads, too. Plop, plop. I added the bonito flakes and mayo and sauce. At this point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. The room was not a pretty sight. After our battle, we laughed like crazy. We were rolling around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. It's nostalgic. But those days didn't last. Six years ago, in November, a man with a gun broke into our house. Okay, so it wasn't the man that you were dating that shot Fortunately, you. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time. But my boyfriend was. That's why the gunman came. Okay, so the gunman found where he lived at and barged in, trying to get at him, but ended up shooting you. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him and he would never stop. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. They were both arrested and incarcerated. Damn, they took both of them away. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. I don't know the details, but it was 
awful. So he became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why, but I know that he betrayed them in some way. May Yikes. I ask you something? Of course. I had heard that that incident was a random break-in gone wrong. Oh. That's not true. I lied about it at the time. Because of Mizuki. Uh, because if someone would have told her, like, Oh yeah, they came for your dad and your mom got hurt because of it, she probably would have felt terrible. Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out too. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? That I was dating a criminal. He was her father figure. Iris looked up to him. If she found out about his past... There's a drawing on the wall. Iris drew it when she was 12. Really? Is that finally it now? Is that finally it? Date. We can't spend time reminiscing. Look, Iva, I need I need you to like step to the side. You've been annoying me this entire episode, this entire video. You've been a little bit of a thorn. Uh, I, I just want to kick you across the room this time, but you know I'll let you slide. We have to get moving. Yeah, let's go. What is there more? Susan's touching right shoulder with her left hand. Oh, I thought there was more. I'm gonna go to this guy's house. Ugh. I'm not about to like this conversation we're about to have. So Sejima is a key person of interest in this case. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. I checked the call logs of So's phones. Congressman Sejima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? But I do have something. I looked into So's secretary's phone. One call in particular stood out to me. Which is? It was one week ago. From Fuchu Prison. Uh-oh. That freaking prison. It looks like we might have to entertain the him. The identified themselves as inmate number 89. Number 89? Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. I know who killed Shogun Adami. Unknown. You don't know? He is not registered in any databases. How is that possible? He's in prison. He should be in somebody's database. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Murder. He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. He was imprisoned six years ago. Again, those three little words. Six years ago. Boss, give me the case file. Obviously, something went down six years ago that we need to know about. I bet money we're going to get this case file and suddenly everything's going to be like, Oh, I know who the killer is. Six years ago? From what I can determine, he is an assassin. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. His code name is Falco. Falco? Correct. You know it'd be really messed up. Why do I have another mini heart attack? But what if Falco is Iris's mom's boyfriend. What if it turns out to be that guy? Oh my god. <laughs> that would be something. Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. 
Number 89 said he knew who killed Shoko. He did. But that may be a lie. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no... Number 89. Should we visit Fuchu Prison? Yes. No. We don't have time. Call up boss. Tell her to request mm -hmm. that number 89 be brought to Abyss. Roger. I am still not looking forward to this conversation. At all. I heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. Oh, he's about to give you so much Isn't shit. Isn't your investigation over? You are beginning to irritate me. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. Uh. I have a look. A merman. So what? is a wealthy politician. It is no surprise to me that he has a merman. She's like, he's like, oh my god, Wait, you will never get my a jokes. Merman? It's too late. The joke already went past. You can't take it back, Iva. You're hopeless. I told you I will not answer that question. And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. He's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. It appears Little that do you know. respond. How many times do I have to tell? I don't know that girl. I've never seen her before. Date. I knew he was lying. Lying hard as fuck. He's super red. This proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. After all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her he doesn't want us knowing. What are you hiding so? Number 89. Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Why would you tell him this? Finding such a person in Japan. What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. If you need information, you can ask her. I can't help you. Oh, just tell us what you know, man. I'm very busy. Excuse me. Actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. To be honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. Oh, I, I haven't noticed. I don't ever want to see you again. So I suggest that you don't show your face here anymore. It's what's best for both of us, understand? So walked away Who does sternly. this guy think he is? Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Any higher could kill you. <sighs> wow, how high is your blood pressure, my guy? Relax, Date. We still have much to do. I know, I know.
I returned to Abyss, Abyss, I'm sorry. Abyss HQ with Iba. I need to talk to the boss. As I entered the room, the boss felt like she was I waiting for me. I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? He's here. In the interrogation room. I'm on it. He... My thing is, he's either... Uh, the mom's boyfriend, or... I don't know why, but I'm imagining a man, like, covered in, like, bandages, one eye looking up for some strange reason. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some, like, uh, creepy... Dude, I don't know. I don't know what I'm You'll imagining. Go without me I don't know what it's meant to look like. But I'm only guessing he might be the boyfriend. One of the higher ups needs me. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Understood. Boyfriend, 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 boyfriend. Let her be a boyfriend. Let her be the boyfriend. Come on, let me be right. Let me be right. Let me be right. Come on. Come on, show me your face. Show me your face. Oh, yes, I knew it, I knew it. It's the boyfriend, it's the boyfriend. I remember you from the dream and the flashback. Oh my God, you're an assassin. Yes, you've met him before. Let's get started. You've seen him before. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go through this superb in interrogation in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm so glad I was right. I was thinking about it, I was just like, it's got to be the boyfriend. It's got to be the boyfriend. It's got to be the boyfriend. He's got this evil smirk on him. But hey, according to the mom, Hitomi, you're a pretty nice guy, apparently. So either that was all an act. Or there's a lot going on in there. You're just a big marshmallow on the inside. But, you know, we, we, we'll see. We'll see in the next video. And hopefully the next video, uh, we'll find Renju. I keep saying that for every next video, but it has yet to come to pass. We'll find Renju. We'll find out what so, what's going on with So. We'll find out why we altered reality somehow. Unless freaking Iris has a freaking twin we don't know about. But... I guess we'll find that out next time. And if you guys like this game and want to see more videos of it, then please destroy that like and subscribe button for more videos. Bye! I'll see you guys later!